So we'd like to cover off um, all of the sprinkler types that you'll find in a Type 1 or a Type 2 trailer. Uh, first of all, we've got the spikes, which we had in our closed loop system that we use. Uh, these ones are great perimeter protection sprinklers, great to be pounded into the ground, um, protect the zone one, you know, the home ignition zone are really, really good. Uh, one thing I didn't mention before with the sprinkler is you have to be careful in how much you angle the sprinkler up. It can be angled slightly, but the more you angle it on the rotation, the tougher it is for the sprinkler head to come up sort of the hill here. The weight of the sprinkler head uh, starts working against it and the impact of the sprinkler here might not be enough to kick the sprinkler up. So just be careful when you're mounting these sprinklers, if you're angling them, make sure you're going to get complete rotation of the sprinklers. This is a one inch sprinkler. The large sprinklers come in a three quarter inch version as well, a little bit, uh, little bit smaller, put out very similar gallonages, a uh, lot lighter. We have the half inch sprinkler spike as well. Uh, again, perimeter protection, just not quite the, the length of stream that we're going to get for the, or the diameter coverage, uh, but they're not going to use as much water either. So the choice will be up to you depending on what your water supply is and what type of coverage you require for your sprinkler. You're going to see an offset sprinkler now on our type ones and type two trailers. Uh, offset sprinkler, we've got an offset bracket, holes punched in it that we can put our screws through. We can mount this bracket on the gable end of a structure. The offset allows us to pull away from the shingle line so we don't damage the shingles of the structure, the roofing material of the structure. Get our sprinkler up onto a high, high area and start raining sprinkler down over the roof and the surrounding uh, home ignition zone in the zone one area. They come in the one inch, they come in a three quarter inch size, and of course they come into the half inch size as well, the smaller version. And again, the larger the version, bigger the gallonage, the, uh, the bigger the diameter of coverage compared to the smaller ones, of course, smaller, smaller gallonages, smaller coverage area. This uh, one here has adjustable uh, stays that allow us to control the sprinkler. We can actually set it up to operate as a 180 degree sprinkler or shorten it up as much as we want by adjusting the stays in here. We can convert it to a 360 degree sprinkler by lifting up the tab at the back and it'll rotate 360 degrees. Same idea. And again, we can mount these uh, onto just about anything. You can go to fence posts, uh, you can uh, cut a pole, uh, mount it to a pole, lean the pole against the house if you're having difficulty getting to the gable end. Uh, you can be a little creative with a lot of this stuff. We're starting to use gutter mount sprinklers, a lightweight plastic sprinkler. It comes with a rotator style of sprinkler head. It's non-mechanical, it's not an impact sprinkler. The direction of the nozzle basically forces the stream or forces the nozzle around and it's controlled, the speed of the, of the nozzle is controlled by a little silicone uh, capsule in the top, a little paddled uh, plunger in, in top basically allows the, uh, or allows the, uh, the nozzle to, uh, to act in a controlled manner, it kind of slows the nozzle down. The gutter mounts, just exactly what they are, they can mount into a gutter. Uh, we can connect our hose, our EconoFlow hose to it uh, with an extension pole, a broom handle, rake handle, shovel handle. We can lift them up and place them onto the gutter and mount them there. We have different angles on some of these gutter mounts that you can actually quick change just by removing a cap and the sprinkler head. Helps when you put it on the right way. And I did that with gloved hands. So you can change the direction of the stream. You have a bit of an angle where you can come sort of more straight. The stream itself is angled coming out of the nozzle and the nozzles here aren't impacted by, uh, by the angle as well, being a rotator. Lightweight, and with their lightweight though, they do tend to move around, so they don't like to be shocked with high pressure. They can easily be bounced off of the sprinkler. These are a good system as well that uh, if, if you need a quick setup, fires uh, on the doorstep, connect the hose, run it down, connect it to the hose bib of the, uh, of the structure, and we got at least some form of structure protection uh, on, on the hose. They come in two different sizes as well. You'll find that uh, 
can come up with a four and a half gallon a minute, small sprinkler here. They even go lower to a gallon and a half minute uh, that you'll find in a lot of the, the strictly homeowner systems. The other the newer version you'll find as well, they've got a plug instead of this quick adapt. You'll have to twist this out with a wrench just for fire department use because we're, we're working with higher pressures. These tend to not hold up as well with higher pressures. The last sprinkler that we have is the rooftop sprinkler, the rooftop butterflies. They're really just spinner sprinklers. Instead of throwing out a stream, they're going to throw out more droplets. They've got a smaller area of coverage, roughly 20 feet. These sprinklers were originally designed to be draped over the roof, so you'd have a, a sprinkler pipe on either side of the roof. They're fed through one end. Fittings on the other allowed you to have a washer hose connection, drape that over the, the peak of the roof, and then it either dead ended here or we could actually run another, uh, another hose line to a sprinkler by taking off the end cap. But best just to run two sprinklers off of one uh, EconoFlow hose and then do a separate EconoFlow hose if you want to put another set on there. These are quite versatile as well in the fact that we can use these not only on the roof but we can put them on decks, we can put them on wood piles, areas that we want to, uh, to keep damp uh, to try and take care of any ember transplant. And to do that, we can use them individually instead of as, as a pair. But when you're doing that, you got to keep in mind that they were originally designed to work as a pair. So we've got two, two double males on one. We've got a female connection with a, with a male connection on the other. So you'll need to have a few fittings with you. On the sprinkler pipe that has... two male connections. We're going to need to make sure there's an end cap for it. And then we're going to have to make sure that we've got a double female so that we can make our connection to the EconoFlow hose. And now we've got two individual sprinklers that we can place uh, wherever we want for the coverage that we're looking for. Another real benefit to these sprinklers as well is that we can actually turn the water pressure down at the gate valve so we can limit the amount of water spread if we're trying to prevent water damage or water impacting the structure. So really versatile and we've got a good range of sprinklers for protection here and uh, we've pretty much got everything covered off.